in the Northwest. Potlatch is very important to us. It's central to who we are. It really symbolizes ceremony, celebration, and giving. The, the way it was utilized to develop the ideas or the framework for the uh, organization was very important in this notion of providing philanthropic dollars to under-resourced Indigenous individuals as well as Indigenous communities in this area. How much fun I first heard about that in Native Americans in Philanthropy and then after that I really did some research and it just seemed like a really good fit for me that it fit within my mission what I was doing and they were progressive is something that really turned me on to it because it seemed like that's the kind of people you want for the future. I believe that we heard about Potlatch Fund through mutual friends that actually received funding from Potlatch Fund for the canoe journeys. I'm so glad that we did because the relationship has really evolved and become stronger and now we're a part of this program. We as Natives can really help one another because we kind of have the same sense of things that are going on within our own tribes and how similar they are but they're very different and the uniqueness of every tribe um, and we honor that. Vitally important part of our Northwest community but I know now how much that they branch out. And I have family at other parts of the country, the Indian country, and now I hear Potlatch Fund mentioned more and more so I can see and hear how they're reaching all of our communities and I think that's wonderful. They're really trying to take Native people and put them into a better place. They're helping out a lot in communities, helping fund projects to help people like show who they are, their identity as Native people. We just received a grant for language preservation, so we're doing great work in that area, as well as education. We've actually established programs in Montana with all the tribal colleges and state universities and actually trying to help out our own people with our own people and developing, utilizing our educated natives that are coming up right now. It's basically doing it our traditional ways with utilizing tradition and culture as the main component, blending that with what they know in school food sovereignty or food justice, um, providing funding to tribes in their efforts to develop community gardens or to access their traditional foods or traditional plants, environmental justice, helping tribes as they deal with global climate change, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, the changes to our fishing sites as a result of ocean acidification, the warming of our oceans, what that's doing to our tribal economies. And so we are looking at ways that we can help and support in that area through our philanthropic efforts and through the funding that we're able to secure. We have programs that support individuals in their personal growth and development through these various workshops, entrepreneurial workshops, art workshops, and so that notion of giving then is also providing tools for them to, uh, to be successful in their own personal lives. Potlatch Fund was the first grant I wrote for myself and it felt really empowering to be like, yeah, we will invest in you. You know, you're valuable and uh, we can help you on your, your journey. From the whole business aspect of it, as artists, we are running our own businesses and Potlatch definitely helped me put that all into like a real perspective. Those people then who are trained or become knowledgeable or provided the tools then give back to their communities or the tribes then give back to their community members. A lot of the people say, you know, this is what we want to do. This is something that we want to do, but we don't know how to do it. So what we do is we help assist them on how to get there. And then what they do is it creates change. Potlatch really is centered on getting business done, as my relatives used to say when we were when, when I was a kid and we would go to Potlatch as we're going there to get the business done. But it wasn't just that aspect. It was the reciprocity of it, the gifting that you gift in return, you will be gifted. Your community, your family will be gifted with food, with knowledge, with song, with ceremony, which then strengthens those communities and strengthens that institution. When we talk about Potlatch itself, our organization, Potlatch Fund, 
it's built around that. It's built around such a unique but powerful way of relating to each other, not just as individuals, but as communities. Well, Potlatch Fund to us means that they're a part of the circle and everybody in the circle of life has a reason. They all have something to give to the circle. And what's special about the circle is nobody's above each other. So we all give and receive. I've watched the growth, I've been a part of the growth, I've experienced the growth of this organization. I've seen how it's touched people in the various communities that we service, I've seen the growth of not only the tribal and urban communities that we service, but individuals. To do that within the larger indigenous community, it's empowering because we're all here to support each other. We're all here to encourage each other, to uplift each other. That's how we're going to flourish. That's how we're going to go from surviving to thriving. I want to see more Indigenous people saying, I have a dream and I can follow that and be encouraged by my community. The idea of practice is that these, these are your gifts and you get to share. Because we're all connected. And so we should be uplifting each other, empowering each other. Potlatch has done a very good job of um, advocating for Natives and the work that um, we all do. And um, I just think that the people that I have worked with have become family. I want Potlatch to flourish and, and grow as a family, to couple with us and, and grow with us, like a partner, a, a true partnership. All of us coming together in that wonderful circle of sharing, of giving, of, of receiving. And I thank the Creator every day. I raise my hands to everyone who I have met during this wonderful journey and who have supported us in our growth and our development as an organization. I say to all of you, Tleko, Tleko, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I raise my hands to all of you. It has been a great joy, and I look forward to many more years.